Hi, I'm Felipe with the Two Brothers Real Estate Team. And in today's video, I wanna answer a question that I get asked often by clients who are either trying to move into the Langley area or thinking about moving just outside of Langley. So what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be comparing the average prices for some cities that are either east or west. And we're gonna try to see what is happening with the average price as we make those moves a little bit farther away from Langley. Okay, so let's watch the video right now. Welcome back everybody. So as I mentioned before, we are going to be talking about the average prices for uh, different properties in the Fraser Valley. We're going to be talking about properties in Vancouver, Abbotsford, Chilliwack, and of course Langley. As you know, I do most of my business in Langley, so that's where exactly where I'm going to be starting in today's video. I'm going to be sharing the average price for properties in the Langley area. We're going to be starting with apartments that are for resale. So there it is, Langley right now, the prices obviously as you could see since February, they've been kind of dropping a little bit. May they hit a, an average of 364, but for the month of June, which is the latest numbers that we just got, it did go up and it's sitting at 392,000. Now we did have 46 sales in the Langley area for condos. Uh, so this is an average of all 46 sales that occurred in the month of June. All right, I also wanna show you Vancouver, as you know, as you go to Vancouver, it is uh, drastically more expensive. So let's find out and see what the latest numbers show us. All right, so there it is. Vancouver right now, for the same type of property that we just talked about in Langley, you're gonna be paying 789,000 for that type of property, which is almost a double of what you would be paying in Langley. Uh, let's move on to Abbotsford. Now, the reason why I picked Abbotsford is because I know that there's a lot of clients who are thinking about buying into markets that are a little bit more affordable and Abbotsford is one of those cities that is very developed, but you could still find uh, a little bit better bank for your dollar when you go to those areas. Uh, they were sitting at 309 in May, and that price has now dropped for June to 286,000 as the average price. Uh, I'm still gonna take you a little bit farther east. I wanna go all the way to Chilliwack, okay? Chilliwack is a beautiful area. It is a little bit farther east than anything else that we're gonna be talking about today. So for that reason, those properties are gonna be a little bit better priced. Uh, and as I mentioned, this is probably the city that I could see that you're gonna get the most out of your dollar. Uh, for here, for resale right now, are averaging 240,000 uh, for those type of properties. All right, so I'm gonna put those together to give you an idea visually of how everything stacks up against each other. These are all the four properties that we talked about. Vancouver, of course, represented with the red line, is sitting right now at 789,000, uh, which is almost double the price of the next town that we're talking about today, which is Langley, sitting at 392. Abbotsford sitting with the green line at 286 and Chilliwack sitting the lowest at 240,000 for the same type of property, but in different area. All right, so I'm gonna show you the same thing for townhouses. Uh, we're gonna be starting with Langley. So the only thing that we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be switching the selection of apartment into townhouses, and that's gonna give us uh, the latest average prices for townhouses in Langley. So we ended up going down from 584, that was the number for May, and now we're sitting at 563. So a little bit of a drop when it comes to townhouses in this area. If you want that same type of property in Vancouver, you're gonna be paying now just over a million dollars. It is gonna be a million, $9,000, uh, and as you could see, it is the lowest price in Vancouver in the last year for those type of properties. All right, so here is Abbotsford. Uh, May, they were sitting at 461, and June jumped up $20,000 to 481. So there is Chilliwack, as you could see, they had some up and downs. They ended up going in April at uh, the highest average. May dropped a little bit, and now in June is going back up again, slightly sitting at 393,000 for your average townhouse in the city of Chilliwack. All right, so I'm gonna stack them up again so you could see what is happening in these areas uh, in comparison with each other. So there you go. So these are the stats for those four areas that we talked about regarding townhouses. As you could see, uh, Langley sitting with the blue line at 563. And again, Vancouver is sitting just over a million, which means they're almost doubling the price for properties. If you decide to go farther east, Abbotsford is sitting now at 481, and Chilliwack continues to be the most affordable area at 393,000 for an average townhouse in that area. All right, so let's go now to detached properties in the Langley area. Uh, there were a total of 72 properties that were sold in the month of June, 
and this is what happened with the average pricing. So in May, it had gone up to a million fifty-two thousand, and in the month of June, it dropped slightly to just over a million, sitting at one million eight thousand. Here's Vancouver detached properties for resale. Uh, right now, the average is sitting at two point one million dollars, almost hitting two point two million dollars for that detached property. Now let's move on to obvious for the detached housing. There, uh, the average has gone up from 809 in May all the way to 847 uh, in June. All right, so I'm gonna show you now Chilliwack. It is sitting for detached properties just over 600,000. It's sitting at 601,000 for the average property in the Chilliwack area. All right, so here's all the detached properties put together. Vancouver with the highest price sitting just over $2 million for the average cost for a home in the month of June. Langley had a little bit over a million dollars for that same type of property. If you move to Abbotsford, you'll be paying a little bit over 845,000. And Chilliwell continues to be the most affordable, just over 600,000 for that same type of property. So again, the purpose of this video is to give you an idea of what your dollar could get you depending uh, where you move. And it does change quite drastically. If you're not minding the commute, if you're okay living somewhere a little bit farther than the center of Vancouver, you might be able to get a little bit better bang for your dollar. That's all the information I have for you guys today. Hopefully you found this video useful and I hope that you are able to understand the real estate market in your area a little bit better. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you like it. Make sure you share it with everybody who you think could get use of this information. And if you have any questions at all moving forward, make sure you contact me directly and I would love to help you guys uh, answer those type of questions. Uh, my name is Felipe with the Two Brothers Real Estate Team and I will see you next time.